I am so grateful to be sitting here with Mario Garcia. He's the writer, producer, and director of this amazing new film called The Throwback. So could you tell us how this whole thing got started? You started writing it. Right. Okay. So I, I started writing it, uh, actually started writing it um, probably more than five years ago, and it was just a draft that was sitting um, in, 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 in a file folder with a bunch of drafts that just kind of, I start and I never finish. Um, and um, right around COVID, um, I partnered with a, a friend from college, Mike, Mike Alfieri, who's a producer in, in California. And he was asking me, what about that story you had about the, the mom who doesn't remember like the last 26 years? And so I started kind of getting back into the story and, and writing and writing it. Um, and then um, it was going to be something that 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 we were going to try to sell, uh, but ended up because of the dynamics that were changing in the industry um, that have since changed even more. Uh, we decided let's produce it ourselves. And um, Mike, the other producer, was always pushing me towards being the director um, because um, you know he he knew my vision for the film, and and I was hesitant, but I ended up doing it. That is cool. Now here's another thing that was pretty incredible. The city of Tampa mm -hmm. heard about it mm -hmm. and came to you. Right. Yeah. I. They were the both uh, Tampa and Pinellas County uh, were really cooperative uh, because I wanted to do the film in Tampa uh, because I, I was raised here and um, and I've always had kind of a, a lot of affection for the area and and didn't feel even though there's been other projects shot here that but didn't feel that it gave Tampa like a voice in the film and so I wanted to do that and so uh, Tampa pa Tampa Bay area we filmed in both Tampa and Pinellas County and and, and both the film commissioners uh, were a big part of the project. So tell me about your characters your cast you got some pretty amazing lead characters for this. Yeah I, I was very fortunate um, I for the, the the main character Kate the mom who who wakes up and she can't remember the last 26 years and thinks she's like a sophomore in college still. Um, she, um, I, I knew it had to be somebody who could pull off the, the comedy and sometimes physical comedy, um, but also kind of um, do the heartfelt moments. And so that was always difficult because there would always be somebody that I liked, but I'm like, but can they do the comedy? Or I'd see somebody really funny, but can they do the, the, the drama? And then my father turned me on to One Day at a Time, which was uh, the Cuban version of the One Day at a Time that we grew up with, with Justina Machado in it. And I had seen Justina in many other things, and she always stood out because she was just so good, Six Feet Under, um, and um, uh, Jane the Virgin. So I was familiar with her, uh, but I started binge watching One Day at a Time, and uh, just like, basically I said, that's Kate. And um, called the producer and I said, it's gonna be Justina. And uh, we had backup plans, but but I was really hoping it would be her. And so we got the script through a casting director, Mia Kusumano, who was awesome. Got the script to her manager, Danielle Dell, who also came on to be an executive producer. And, um, and they liked the script right away. And so once we had Justina, I think it was Justina and Danielle said, how about Will Sasso? And they had done a little short together before and they had great chemistry. And so it just, it worked out for me that Will was also available and he, he was also interested and, and together they had unbelievable chemistry and you could even off screen, they, they, they were <laughs> awesome, they're great friends. Um, that is great. And so, uh, but Danielle also reps Michelle Randolph who was in 1923 Reese after our, our movie. She went and she shot that Taylor Sheridan show and um, Greg Sulkin uh, who was from Marvel. Uh, and so, you know, uh, it was, and then Bobby Lee came from uh, just, I just loved his humor and I thought he would be perfect for the part. And actually, it was pretty much the the person I was envisioning for the part when I wrote it. So it was great to get him as well. Oh, that is awesome. That is so exciting. I can't wait to see it. It's March. March 15th. Uh, you'll find it on all the on-demand channels, um, Amazon, iTunes, Google Play. Awesome. So when you get a chance, send me a comment after seeing the show and I will forward it to Mario. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Awesome.